just the where were, where were, what, sorry, what will Saturday's game tell you about where your team stands at this point? Well, it'd be a big test. So it's like you know, it's taking a midterm. I mean, it's we've had a lot of tests so far, but that's a this one's weighted heavily because of the you know ramifications of being a, a conference game uh, against a very very good opponent. So there's a little bit more to it that can help you to kind of gauge your way, way where you're at right now. So I think we're approaching it that way in our preparation. I asked JoJo about uh, talking to the younger kids about the grind and the step up in intensity mm -hmm. in uh, conference play. And he said they've, they've kind of taken that on themselves. Have you had to tell them anything about how different this is going to be? We, t we talked about it a little bit the uh, first day back from um, uh, after Christmas. Just uh, when it means more. Uh, to the teams, to the schools, to the administrations, the university, you you have a different feel. You know, there's a different energy in the building, um, the environments, uh, in the offices, in the marketing, it, the whole, you know, anybody affiliated with the program, it's a little more heightened now because it gets real, you know. So we talked about what that means to them and, and what their investment needs to be in order to, uh, you know, pay those folks back that are, that are back, that are working hard, and everybody's, you know, there's so many hands involved with, with trying to make this a successful, you know, program in every, in every program that we're going against. So you want to you wanna do right by those folks that are, you know, working hard. And, and uh, so the emotion is a little bit heightened. Uh, you're playing for more. The, the, the stakes are a little bit higher. So we just talked about that whole dynamic. You feel like you guys are ready for conference play now? Yeah, we better be. <laughs> you know, I've been asked that in different ways, and I guess one of the forums that was asking would I like to have a little more time? And of course, I don't think there's any coach that wouldn't want to have a few more practices or another game or so forth for preparation, but it's here. So, you know, we will obviously look to continue to improve, but we got we to gotta try to get wins. You know, and that's uh, always going to be, you know, first on our agenda when it comes to, you know, playing the games. But, but we've got to, we've got to try to go out and be successful at the same time. You know, continue the development. You've had uh, a few different games this year where you've sort of emphasized that the game plan defensively was to force tough twos. Mm -hmm. Is that more of a general philosophy, or is that a game it's, specific? It's general. Um, typically, typically speaking, in the, the nature of. The beast of Division One men's basketball now is, you know, tough twos aren't really going to beat you. Um, you know, it's it's the, the three point percentages and and frequency has gone up so much in recent years that uh, you just got to make sure you you remove that factor and then and then you got to go in and handle your business. Obviously, you used to have to do what you have to do on your side of the, of the ball, but um, but if you're playing like you're supposed to play offensively or what you're capable of playing offensively, then typically, you know, tough shots or, or tough twos are going to fall in at a lower rate than, you know, a, a, an uncontested shot. How well do you think your players grasp the, the math that's behind threes being more than twos and you'd rather have a guy take a 16-foot two yeah. than an open three? we've educated them. We've educated them on that. And, you know, I feel like uh, philosophically, I think guys need to know. Guys need to know and understand what's an RPI. And how is it weighted? And what plays a role in away games and home games? And you know, I think they—the more they know, I think it's it's uh, it's better for them uh, to understand and prepare and and uh, get their head in the right place. So when you start talking about statistics, that's another area that we like to educate them on. We've had several quizzes and and uh, talks about um, what's a good percentage, you know, what's a bad percentage, why. What's a good assist to turnover ratio? You can't assume that they know that stuff. So you gotta, you gotta teach them. What does Boise State bring in that regards of taking away the three and forcing tough twos? Well, there, are, I mean, that goes in line with what we want to try to do. There are some areas that we've looked at and said, okay, we got to get better in these areas, um, and they, they're really good in those, uh, you know, uh, those areas in terms of like, for example, the three-point shooting. We've got to do a good job of defending the three, but at the same time, um, you know, their transition is, is, is very efficient. Uh, so you got to locate, they, they have a lot of pluses that are areas where we need to continue to get better at. So it'll be a great test for us. 
Is there what more, a little more energy right now with the Mountain West play getting restarted? Energy as far as like practice and yeah, stuff. Around the yeah, I think the guys. Uh, I think the guys are feeling it a little bit, and I think they're, you know, they've been anticipating the start of conference. You know, we talked about our goals and competing, it, you know, to try to do the best we can in conference so we can end up in the upper echelon. And so that's that starts, you know, Saturday. And Boise State's doing, you know, the same thing and has the same goals, I'm sure. Um, you know, theirs may even uh, be more intensified because of the fact that. Uh, Chandler came back, and um, you know they've been in the top three for a few years now. So there, you know, it's been a big emphasis for us. But I don't think there's a team in the league that isn't trying to win the league. <laughs> I would hope not, <laughs> you know. And so we're all having the same talk, and so it's usually decided by the players, and that's just the way it goes. Four out of uh, five teams last night in the Mountain West defended their home court with the only road win coming from uh, those guys up north. Right. Have you stressed to the team how important the conference play it is to defend that home court? And, and we have talked about that, yeah. We talked about, well, we talk about that every time we play at home, for sure, right? Uh, about the pride of defending your court and, and uh, what I referenced earlier about all the people that are coming to the games that are in town, that work here, that work on, on, on campus and, and giving them uh, some continued, you know, pride. Uh, in what we're doing as a program. It's, it's really our opportunity to give back a little bit. And so we talk about that and some other factors that go, in it, that go into protecting the home court. That's, that's critical in conference especially. So this is a big game. Well, JoJo, you, you know what it's like to go through Mountain West play. Just what, what did you learn last year and how can that help you this season? Uh, just you got to be prepared for each team. Uh, you actually watched the games yesterday. Uh, we saw upset with Wyoming and San Diego State. And it just shows you that any night, you know, any team could be beat. So it's just about preparing, you know, making sure you're ready for this type of play. What do you guys know about Boise State already? Uh, they, they're similar to Northern Iowa. Uh, if you watch both teams play, they play a lot of the same type of defensive schemes. And, you know, they're, they're very disciplined. Uh, they do a great job defensively, you know, making you take tough shots, and they can shoot the ball better than anybody in the country, so. They're uh, projected as one of the top teams in this conference. You like starting off conference play with one of the best teams? Yeah, that's, that's the way we, we want it to be, you know. I wish every game we play could be, you know, a team considered above us, so, I mean, that does nothing but makes us want to play even more. As a senior leader on the team, have you let the younger guys know what the grind is like in conference play and the step up in intensity every night? Uh, I think they're starting to learn that themselves, you know, throughout the season, just how tough it is, you know, how quick you have to think out there. So, I mean, I think everyone's ready, you know, including the freshmen. They've done a great job listening to the coaches, you know, and taking in the leadership that we give them. So, I think everyone's on the same page. What, what, what will Boise State tell you about where your team is right now? Uh, it'll tell you a lot, you know, because uh, they're a very good team, you know, they're a quality team. They beat some big teams so far this year, so beating them will be a, it'll be a great start for us. Marvin's uh, talked a lot about, as far as defensive game plans, forcing tough twos. Um, how does he coach that? How, how does he coach that to you guys? How does he tell you guys to, to force tough twos from teams? Uh, well, it's just pressure on the ball, uh, you know, uh, running shooters off the line, not letting guys get open looks. Because, you know, when teams get hot behind the three, you know, that can make, make it a long night for anyone. So, if you give up tough tools, it, it makes the game a lot longer, you know, so. Do you guys have possessions where you might give up a basket, but it's a, a tough two and you guys go back down on the, uh, when you're back on the defensive end, you guys are okay with that because it was the shot you want them to take? Well, I mean, uh, well, yeah, you could say that, but I mean, teams are going to make threes, you know. Teams are going to make a lot of shots, but it's just, thinking about the next possession, you know. A team scores, or it's not the end of the world, so it's just moving on to the next possession. Thanks, Jojo.